Hi, and welcome to the pilot of the first episode of You Don't Get Cramp at This Club. This is going to be a uh, Watford-based quiz show, game show, whatever it's going to end up being. And we're extremely pleased uh, on our first show to be joined by the boys from Do Not Scratch Your Eyes podcast, Carl and Justin. Say hello, guys. Good evening. Bonjour. So what we're going to have is five different rounds, and I'll take you through those now. So, you don't get crammed, but this club is going to consist of five rounds. We're going to start off with a game called Transfer Trails, head into the head coach, the picture board round, play your cards right, and finishing off with catchphrase. Now, there may be some 1980s TV shows that we haven't ripped off, but trust me, we'll get back around to them. We'll be ripping them off anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the first round. Are we ready? <laughs> first one, player one. His first club, Visoshina Hilava. Banik Ostrava. You've never heard silence like it. Udinese. Oh. People at home, Carl, if you can get it early. Justin. Carl, oh, Carl has gone. Well, Carl's gone early. Go on. What are Igalo. we saying then, Carl? Carl has Igalo. gone Igalo. Carl, you are incorrect. You get you uh, you get a f two free goes. Club Bruges, and then and then he came to Watford. No, no, I'll have a guess at Alan Abdi, but I don't think I'm right. Incorrect. We move on. Next team, West Brom. Oh, oh, Justin. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh. Cole, you can do all the impressions of Nessa from Gavin and Stacey you like, but you have to shout your own name. Justin, go on, Justin. You called, you called it. Who are you going for? Alan, Alan Neon. Incorrect. Damn. Carl. He's right. You, oh, what? No, you're wrong. Carl. Oh, I was going with that. You get one more. He's at Watford. And you get one more. Can you guess who he's been with? What? I know. Oh, my God. Sorry. Gosh. I know. Next what? club. I'm sure somebody at home has oh, got yeah. this. And if you've got it, award yourself oh, yeah, 10 lost. bonus points. And finally... <laughs> no, I'm lost. Burnley. Burnley. Which player oh, are, I am too. has been here, Easy. gone away, and come back again? OK, I'm going to call it no bonus points for the guys. And I'm going to reveal Go the player is... Matty Vidra. Oh, Vidra. my God. Of course it is. Because if, you go, if we go back and have a look at that, you can see that Matty came on loan for when he first came. Yeah. He then went to West Brom on loan. He went back to Watford on loan. We signed him. And then about three days later, we shipped him off to Reading again on loan. So, <laughs> well this, done. This, this is, is the, bad. No, no, no. This is, this is the level of competence I was hoping for. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have to estimate... OK, Matty Vidra made 27 appearances for that first team that I so well pronounced as uh, Visocino Yetlava. How many appearances did he make for Banico Strava, do you think? 14. 25. Oh. 14 and 25, respectively. 14! 14! Oh! <laughs> He's on the nut! Carl, you win 20 <laughs> points. You are the closest and you were dead on the nail. How, how many appearances did Matty Vidra make for Udinese? 36. 54. You're saying 54. 36, oh, 54. Both two. <laughs> out, outside of 20. Well, he only made two, so, you know, he came across pretty quickly. How many did he make? So no more points there. How many appearances did he make for Club Bruges? Five. Five. Cole? 12. He only made the one. Oh. Justin, you were within five, so you're getting 16 points there. That's not bad. He'd appeared a little bit more than that. And Burnley. Now, I put this together, and I haven't changed it for Matty, so he may have had a couple more than this, but we're going to go with what was on Wikipedia when I did this. 26. 32. 32. You get two points. OK, so that was the end of the first player. Let's see the uh, the scores on the doors as we stand. Carl sits on a magnificent 35. Justin, bring up the rear there on 23. And... A player who started his career at Ipswich Town. Moved to Colchester United. Moved to Everton. Any guesses yet, guys? No, not yet. 
move to Tranmere. Again, he seems to go to a big club and then move to a little local one. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Carl. Will you do that? Oh, oh, oh. Do we have a shout? Carl, what are we going for? Alex Chamberlain. Oh, I think he's right. He shoots and he scores. Get in there! Carl, Carl you win 10 bonus <laughs> points for selecting the name first. <laughs> People from home, if you have got to the score before, Carl, award yourself 10 bonus points. If you've got Matej Vidra at any point, award yourself 10 bonus points, clearly. So we now take a look at whether those moves were loan or permanent. There's our man. There he is. How many appearances, Carl, did he make for Ipswich Town? Two. 20. I think we'll say the twos have it. Oh. He's got himself an 18-pointer there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Colchester United, Justin, yeah, how many right. games did Alec Chamberlain play for Colchester United? 15. 22. No. He stopped oh. it at Colchester. <laughs> Dear God. Justin, I'll go and come to you because you're playing catch up. You really are after that 18 points from Bibb uh, Switch Town earlier on. Everton, yeah. how many games did uh, good old Chambo play at Everton. Uh, 35. 10. It's another blank. Oh! 10 points for Carl. <laughs> he moved to Tranmere. Carl, how many games did he play? Uh, it was easily 64. <laughs> being, the, being the club historian for Tranmere, that's a respected number to get. <laughs> Justin, uh, you've got some making up I'm to do. I have, so I'm going to go for less than that. I'm going to go for 33. 33. Oh, Sees oh, you I... get a couple of points there. How many games? And we're, we're, we're donning metaphorical black armbands, but how many games did Alec Chamberlain play for them up the road? Carl? 40. 25. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. 138. Oh, my God. He moved to Chelsea. Oh, my God. Justin, how many games at Chelsea did he have? Two. Colt? None. He's done you. He's only <laughs> gone and done you. He's taken your 18 yes. points and added 20 to himself. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yeah, you, I mean, uh, J Justin, I, I, I really think it's fair to say that your best hope is if Carl's Wi Fi gives out. But we'll see how this goes. <laughs> It's brilliant. Cole, at Sunderland, how many games did Alec Chamberlain play for, for the Rokerites? 136. Yeah, I'll no, go no. with... I'm going to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the Cole card here. I'm zero. Ooh. No, he had an extensive career at Sunderland. I'm going to I'm going to throw this one across to Justin because he needs the points more than anyone. Just I'm not saying anything, but see if you can spot a pattern. How many games did he have on loan at Liverpool? <laughs> zero. I'm I'm, say, I think he's going for zero. Carl, I'm going to say one. It's zero. We've got some. <laughs> Justin is finally showing some. <laughs> some. Right now, this is this is this is the biggie. More or less, mm. obviously, than 138, and I'll give you a clue. It's more. But, Justin, how many games did the legend that is Alec Chamberlain, how many did he play? Mm. He was there for a very long time. He uh, was. And he was pretty consistent. So let's go for 250. Carl. 289. 250 oh. was pretty bloody good. That gives you 17 points. So there we are at the end of the first round. And let's just quickly have a look at the scores on the doors. I think we all know which way this might be going. Carl, 93. Justin, uh, a, a very impressive uh, 62. Right, so on to round two, the head coach. For you guys at home, the head coach, because of course we have head coaches and not managers at Watford, it's nothing to do with that whatsoever. Elton John always described Graham Taylor as his big brother, and you can sort of understand why, because Elton Taylor and Graham John would have looked a bit of an odd couple. I'm going to be putting up some pictures and I need you to write down which Hornets you think I have combined to make the picture. First one. Here is a player <sighs> made up of other Hornets. Oh. Can you tell me? It's not John Bon Jovi. Have you got your answers, guys? 
I have my answer. Let's go to Justin first. Justin, show us your uh, show us your your whiteboard. Nigel Gibbs and Jada Merritt. He is guessing. Not a bad go. Let's go across and Carl, show oh, us your Jay answers. Demerit. You just got Jada just Merritt. Jada Merritt. Yeah. The answer is indeed Jada Merritt and Nigel Gibbs. Ten points for each one that you get there. Very good. I hope yes. you at home got the answers on those. Who, oh my God. who do we have in this montage? You guys at home, study it carefully. Don't press pause, obviously. That would be cheating. But press pause, obviously. There you go. Mm. Okay. Write down your answers. I've got to get... We'll go to Carl first. Carl, who are you going for? You can call them out. You can I've... just call them out. Justin's written Okay, it down. I've gone for Will Hughes and Gerard Delafeu. Hughesy and Jerry. And who have we gone for? Will Hughes and Ben Foster. Oh, that's a shout. I think you're right. I will tell you now, it's you both beard, scored but... 10 points because yeah. you got one right. And you're right. So it's it Hughesy then, right. definitely. Will Hughes oh. Oh, Pru- and Seb. Seb Pirtle. Basically, who knew Okey-dokey. that if you basically get Will Hughes, Will Hughes and you splice him with Seb Pirtle, you get Ben Foster. Who knew that? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it does. Actually, when you said, as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, he's right. It was the teeth. I thought, oh, the teeth. What do you mean he's right? I put this yeah. together. Of course I'm right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who have we combined to create this? Oh, it's the hair I can't. Oh. Okay, we're going to yeah. go to Justin first of all. Justin, who have we got there? I've only got one. Which is? He's gone Barami. Ballon Barami. Cole, who are we going for? I've only got one. I've only Which got is? one. It's Penuranda. Penuranda. You both score 10 points each. Well done. Well done. It's a hair that's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, my God. What hornets have we combined here to create this fine figure of a man? I think I got this one. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, am I, though? Well, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm doubting myself now. Like you being oh, oh, hello, Carl. Carl's oh. going early. Justin, are you ready? I've only got one, but, yeah, go on. I can only get one. Okay, so we'll go to Carl first of all. Carl, who are you, who are you calling out? So I've got Chalaba. Chalaba. And Cabaselli. He's got... Okay, and Justin, what are you gone for? He's got... Just Chalaba. This is one where... And we like nothing more than cheating slightly. We combine three players. What? <laughs> <laughs> we combined... <laughs> The magnificent beard of Chalabar, and I think we can all agree that Christian Cabaselli, grow a beard, mate, because you look fine with it. The yeah, face of Cabaselli yeah, and yeah. the hair of Moroccan international oh, and yeah. and free kick goal scorer Adam Messina. There we Very go. Good. So we come to the end of round two. Let's have a quick look at the scoreboard. And it was honours even in that round. You both scored 50 points. Um, Carl was indeed making up with that uh, with Chalabar and Cabaselli at the end there. So, all still to play for as we head into round three. The picture board. I'm going to need you again to write the answers down, ideally. If you can go and get a, I don't know, a bigger bill or something, that'd be great to write on. <laughs> I'll just turn it over. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Phone we'll brilliant. show you the. We'll show you the picture, and then there's going to be a series of quick questions. Here is the picture. But you guys at home, see if you can answer the first question. What year was the game played? So we're going to go with this one relatively quickly because it's going to be, you know, you either know it or you don't. Carl, you've got it written down? Okay, and what have you gone for? Show, show, us, show us your number, Carl. What have you got? 1981. Oh, Justin, this is your moment of triumph. I'm not giving it away. 1983. So, the next question. Who was number eight? Okay, well, I've got a name written down, but... Okay. Sure. Justin, show us your name. Show it to camera. Carl, what are you going for? I went with Ross Jenkins. It's a complete and utter guess. I haven't got a clue. 
Oh, I, c I couldn't disown you enough. It is indeed, Justin, Ian Richardson, joint top scorer in Europe, along with Wilf Rostron. Your left back is your joint top scorer in Europe. I'm sure you guys at home are doing well. Who is the number four? Carl, just shout your name out for us, because uh, Justin's already written it down. Uh, again, not a clue, Ian Bolton. Justin, who are you going for? Les Taylor. Oh, no, 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 no. That's oh. a, that was a reasonable guess. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It was Richard Jobson, who uh, who, who signed oh, for us in, in and around 83. Yeah, no, no points there. Now, can you tell me who are the opposition in the photo? I think the guys at home will have got this already. Yeah, I can't spell it, but... That's all right. right. Let's start with Carl. Uh, cows are slight. That, that's easy for you to say. Justin, <laughs> what have you written? Yeah, I went for the same. I went for Kaiser Slout. You are uh, both uh, correct. Okay, yeah. Right, here we go. <laughs> now, we're going to oh, do this. No. We are going to do this one in order. And I'm going to start, for no apparent reason, with Justin. We're going to go A, B, C, D, E, F. You have to tell me this recent picture that was famously taken and has been seen by all of us an awful lot since uh, since a certain uh, Moroccan left back scored there, my Justin who is player A player A is Saar incorrect it is you don't get it this doesn't go over it's Yao Pedro oh. and I've written it down as well yeah. uh, Carl who is player B? Kiko, Feminia. Ten points goes to Carl. This is a doozy. Come on, Justin, who is number three? I know it. I know it's it. a doozy. I know it. Yeah, but it's, it, it's, it's Cabaselli. I've got it wrong, I don't know. I've got it wrong. It's that scream. It's the, said. It's the primal <laughs> scream that, that, that showed exactly how much that meant to Ishmael Asar. Okay. Carl, who is player D? You guys at home, I hope you're doing better I, than these guys. I think it's Adam Messina. It's William Trustecon. Oh. Finally, for Justin, and then one more for Carl. E, player E. Oh, Sierra Alta. He scores 10 points. Francisco Sierra Alta. And finally, for you, Carl, who is player F? Right, this is going to sound random, but is that Go Sanchez, on. the lad we had on loan? What a good yeah, effort. Hair, you can tell. <laughs> oh, I love <like> yeah. that. <laughs> so we move on to the next round. But before we do that, let's have a quick look at the scores. And the last round, Justin definitely took it and has clawed back the gap to now only 11 in it. So we're going to move on to play your cards right. Now, you might be familiar with this if you're <laughs> as old as I am. Um, we're going to start with, well, we're going to go with two rounds are based on appearances. So it's going to be based on the number of appearances that a designated player has made for the team. And then you're going to have to guess higher or lower to get into a goal scoring position. Um, so we're going to go with nearest the pin first. And because Justin is um, uh, bringing up the rear, I'm going to let him go first. How many appearances do you think John Eustace had and this is to take control of the board and see if you can go down and score a goal if you score a goal it is worth 50 points so the person who does or doesn't score a goal you know you can really claw this back okay uh five seasons played a lot of games let's go for 160 appearances 160 appearances for Justin Carl uh 140 the big reveal 168 Justin, you have control of the board. Now, if you get it wrong, it goes back across to Carl. And when we get to the last one, you have to, again, be within 20 to score a goal. So it's not as easy as you're going to okay. think. So the next player okay, is... Sure. Do you recognise him, first of all? Firstly, no, I don't. <laughs> that, that is Jason Drysdale, who played oh, left back. Milky. Yeah, 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 Milky, absolutely. 89 to 94. Did he have more or less than 168 appearances? You don't need to predict the number, just a more or less. Less. Correct. We move on. You keep. You right. retain control of the board. 
Do you recognise who that is? Oh, Forrest uh, Fessy. Forrest, yeah. yeah. That, oh. that's, that's Fessy. Only with this for three years, but how many how many games? Less or more than 160? Uh, less. 90. We move on to... Do you know who this is? I do not, sir. Okay, so this is Bobby Downs. And if you uh, watched the Man United big match of the day, uh, Bobby Downs was the left winger before John Barnes ever got to the club or Wilf Rostrad ever got to the club. He was the winger who put the right-footed cross in for Luther's header to make it 2-1. And it's a doozy. He could really slam a ball in. He was with us for five years, more or less than 90. Higher. He's gone higher. Cool. And so now we come, we move on to the final player for a goal. Now, oh, there's no Bolton. there's there's no pressure because you only just recently interviewed this gentleman. So <laughs> can you be within 20 appearances that he made to score a goal and take 50 points? Or does it do we stay on as even for the round? Six years. Let's go for let's go for. Yeah, I'm going to go for 100. Let's go for 220 it, appearances. 220. 287. Oh. He gets in front of goal and he fumbles like a player I won't mention. <laughs> yeah. Round two. We're going to start with Justin. Okay. We know Three. who this is. Uh, we're going to start with him. We're going to give you that straight away. He starts on 298. The next player up is, do you recognise him? Steve Steve, Steve Sims with us for two um, two periods. Um, more or less than 298, Carl. You're in charge of the board. More less. or less. Less. 219. Very good. Mo Morris Johnson. Morris Johnson. He has to be less because I pressed the button too bloody quickly. He was only with us for a season, only for, this for a short amount of games. So. Less. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Jacket. Kenny Moore. Okay. And now this is where the difficulty comes in. How many appearances did Tony Coton make for the Glory Hornets? Oh god, I'm knocking my camera everywhere now. Uh let's go. Four hundred and twenty. Two ninety one. No, it's a no-scoring round. It's a no-scoring round, which wow. means which means our uh, our scores remain one seventy-three to one sixty-two as we head into the next round. So our final, our <laughs> our final one, and I'm going to be asking you guys to shout out your names. This is going to get a bit a bit fast and furious. You're going to have to work out who the catchphrase is it's just simply cryptic and we're going to be seeing how well we get on i'm going to go full zoom so you can see exactly what you're looking at are we ready yep justin <laughs> justin who are you calling out luther bliss it oh outstanding outstanding 10 points obviously now there is um, there, there are it's going to be a couple in here I think I I think you're both going to struggle with but people at home might get it and I might even have to give you a clue to get it. What is that? <laughs> Justin, who are you going for? Yeah, Troy D Knee. Oh mate, how did I not get that? It is indeed. Yeah, it's a Trojan horse. It is the Trojan horse. Yeah. yeah. And that is an anatomical picture of a knee, a patella. Are we ready? Nice. Oh, yeah. Justin, I'm not. I'm not saying there's any pressure, but you just snuck in front. Ooh. This is a difficult oh, one, God. and I'm going to give you a clue. In the middle is a system known yeah. as a known as a point of sale system. Short is a POS. P O S. Justin. And who are you oh, saying? Well, this is based. Well, this is based purely on those people. So I think it's Frankie Poskit. Malcolm Poskit. Malcolm nice Poskit. effort, but no points, I'm afraid. Yeah. Malcolm in the middle, or yeah. yeah. Who are we thinking? Oh my at? god! 
Oh, what? I'll give you a clue. Yeah. No, I'm... I'll give you a clue. The guys on the right appeared oh, oh, oh. in the fast show. What was their occupation? Justin. I... Oh, I really hope that there were people at home watching this shouting at the pair of you. <laughs> Justin, who do you say yeah, it is? I've seen it. Yep. Graham Taylor. Oh, what? <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, dear. The cryptic is killing you here, Cal. Are you ready for it's the next one? Me, yeah. Here we go. Say what you see. Justin. Justin. Who are we saying? Steve Sherwood. You've got both Steve oh, oh, and Steve Jobs from Apple. <laughs> Sher and Wood. It is indeed Sherwood. Okay, this is a quick one. Are you ready? You've got to get ready to shout your name, Carl. Yep. Uh, <laughs> if I knew who the bloke on the left was. <laughs> um, okay, I'm taking away from the both of you guys. That is Tim, the, en oh, Tim the Enchanter yes. from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I hate this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you, I'm seeing the scores. You really do. Who is oh, this player? Oh, I know, Justin. <laughs> Justin, who are you saying? <laughs> Wilf Ross Tron. Oh, look at that. Oh, it is indeed oh, Wilf Ross Tron. He's absolutely doing you on this round. Are you ready? Only yeah, a couple I've left. Been done. Been couple done. left. You can't. God. You can get Justin, back to mid-table respectability. I can't. Justin, I can't. Who, Justin, who are we looking at here? Who are we Tony looking at? Tony Coton. Tony. It's a Tony Award cot, and he's on the top there. Okay. Are you ready for uh, this? Could be. This could be. And I believe this is. This is the last question of the round, and it's uh, the last question of the evening. Who are we looking at here? <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Who do Isaac you think success. we're looking at? You think we're looking at Isaac Success? Well, let's have a look and see what we're looking at. Well, we, we have hookers and we have Baileys. <laughs> and therefore, Very good. you are yeah. indeed correct on that one. Yeah. I, I'm glad I got the last one right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... The final scores as we stand with a fine rally from Justin. Justin two twenty two, oh. Carl one ninety three. Well made done. up some well made done. up some ground with that last question, but well done, Justin. You win. You win the bragging rights within. Do not scratch your eyes for the ne for the next uh, well. for the next foreseeable future. How do you feel, sir? 